So it has been about two weeks since I unboxed the Dreamy H12 and I've been using it alongside the Dreamy H11 Max which is its predecessor right here and even though they look very similar in some ways but they are in fact very different and let me tell you all about it in today's video. To start off, let's recap the hardware differences between the Dreamy H12 and the H11 Max. Now, on first impressions, you might actually think that these two vacuum cleaners look exactly the same, but in fact, there is actually a minor difference in terms of their design. Now, starting with the color of the H12 here, as you can see, the H12 features a deeper gray color on its handle and of course, in the entire body, whereas the H11 Max has a kind of like a silver color finishing right over here. Now, in terms of its charging stations, they are actually different as well. As you can see, the Ace 12 now offers an additional accessory stand that holds also the additional filter and the brush, and of course, this cleaning brush as well. Whereas the H11 Max only comes with one accessory holder that only holds one extra roller brush and the cleaning brush. So you actually get a holder finally for actually storing the extra filter if you actually want to do that, which the H11 Max doesn't offer. These two vacuum cleaners feature the very same water tank capacity. So you get to store 900 ml of clean water and 500 ml of dirty water. Now, the major difference in terms of cleaning would be their brushes. Now, as you can see right over here, even though their brush look very similar in terms of shape and the design, but the Dreamy H12 doesn't have a block right over here that obstructs the brush from sucking up dust. And even if you look at the front right over here, the brush is actually more exposed. The plastic cover doesn't cover the brush too much as compared to the Dreamy H11 Max, it actually covers uh, the entire front of the brush ready and there's really no space on the right side here for you to vacuum the edges. Now I know what you're thinking, why on the right edge but not the left edge? Well, I assume that's actually a design thing because if you actually make this part without a block here, there will be nothing to hold on to the brush, right? So I guess this is a design uh, limitation that Dreamy has probably already considered already. So they actually thought that maybe having the right side to vacuum the edges would be the best thing ever, right? But most importantly, we are going to find out how well these two vacuum cleaners and probably to show you the differences on how well they vacuum the edge of the wall. Now, we have previously done a review on the Dreamy H11 Max already, so I wouldn't be talking too much about whether it sucks well in terms of debris or what kind of stuff that it sucks up at your home because you can refer back to that video to see how well we have done in terms of the test. And basically, both vacuum cleaners feature the same vacuum efficiency and they will run up to 36 hours on a single charge and that's pretty great uh, for such a vacuum cleaner because uh, most vacuum cleaners would probably run shorter than that. And yep, let's get to the test right now. Now let's start off with the H11 Max. So we have some biscuit crumbles right at the edge of the wall there. So we're going to turn on the H11 Max right now and see how well it vacuums, all right? So let's push it straight. Hopefully it sucks up all the biscuit crumbles. There we go automatic it's on the maximum suction mode but as you can see it can't vacuum the biscuit crumbles well when pushing up straight so let's do it on the side shall we so to be fair we're going to vacuum from the right side as well all right okay there we go just do some right over here All right, as you can see, we've tried to vacuum the site a couple of times right now, and there's still a bit of biscuit crumbles on the edge of the wall, as you can see, All right? So it isn't exactly the cleanest experience that the H11 Max can do, even though, yep, it is still pretty respectable, even though it has a block right here, it still can suck up pretty much most of the biscuit crumbles, all right? Next, we're gonna find out how well the H12 works. Let's start off with the H12, shall we? All right, fingers crossed. Let's hope it works better. All right. Looks like it is not able to like fully suck up the crumbles from the front as well. But let's see it from the sides right now, all right? Ready? There you go. Whoa, look at this. It's way cleaner. All right, I'm just gonna push back a bit. 
all right so there you go there's still a little bit right there but as you can see it has fully sucked up most of the biscuit crumbles that is on the most side of the wall this is actually a great thing if you have some small little dust that's stuck on the edge of the wall where the h11 max can't pick it up the h12 can so yeah this is the major cleaning difference between the dreamy h12 and the h11 max now before i conclude this video there's just one more thing that i need to talk about the h12 that is better than the h11 max and that is its brush cleaning time now every time when you finish a cleaning session you got to dock this vacuum and then press this top button for them to start cleaning right so the h12 takes a lot longer to clean its brush as compared to the h11 max and that's not necessarily a bad thing because the h12 actually does a more thorough cleaning on its brush as compared to the h11 max's brush so i guess that is something that is worth mentioning uh, over the h11 max should you be considering the dreamy h12 because if you have a cleaner brush and every time when you do the next cleaning session your floor is going to be way cleaner and i definitely noticed that as compared to the h11 max so that's all for my review on the Dreamy H12 and a comparison with the H11 Max. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And be sure to subscribe to us for more videos coming right up on the channel. And I'll see you guys in our next one.